following a discussion with my manager, Sophia, the next position to fill is a PA. Someone to handle my day to day, ensure things run smoothly. Wow, <laughs> my own PA. I mean, this is it, you know, I'm making it. Hello, nice to meet you. Hi, Kevin. I used to work in TV. Leroy, but I go by the name of Beno. Heather Rivers, lovely to make your acquaintance, Mr. Hardwick. Harry, 21, Wolverhampton, 5'8, Sagittarius, and Pescatarian. Arthur Calvin Strutt. Hurry. Right, okay. I see your employment history is. varied. Non existent. Subject to investigation. That's right. Mainly theatre, but notable film and TV. Short and numerous. Can you expand on why you think you'd make a good PA? I'm good with numbers, better with words, and I know how to do things the right way the first time, often without being asked. Well, your credentials certainly speak for themselves. Then you have little need for any further inquiries. <laughs> the role of Pa, you mean? As a distinguished and decorated actor, I have successfully portrayed several father archetypes and figures of paternal greatness. Therefore, I believe that I am perfect for the role. I can offer you a great deal of accents, backgrounds, and a plethora of real life experience of being an actual daddy. Role of Pa? It's a PA, you know, personal assistant. I I'm looking for a, a personal assistant. A personal assistant? I recently graduated events management with a first, so I'm very pretty fresh in terms of knowledge of the role. I'm keen to learn on the job, and you can't replicate enthusiasm like that. I like your enthusiasm, Harry, even if your experience is limited. Uh, is there anything else that isn't on your CV that you can do? I mean, like skills or interests? I'm good with models. The bus is a little work. He wants to know he is serious about starting a successful working relationship. He sent me to convince you of his sincerity and his good intentions. Anything you want, I can get it for you. Leroy, Beetle, it's just I have no idea who he is, why he wants to help me, so it's nothing against Johnny or... Emilio. Emilio, so you can understand slightly my reservations. Um, nothing to do with any investigation into criminal history or suspected criminal history, uh, but it is a little red flag, you know. Just a bit. Well, I've been a personal assistant before. A retail assistant, a personal shopper, a petrol station attendant, a pylon assembler, a python agitator, and a personal hygiene assistant. So I have many skills in assisting people to do things personally without needing assistance myself. If that makes any sense. It does, Kevin, and I don't doubt your experience, just how sure it is every time that you're employed in those roles. Are you questioning my resilience? No, no. Well, perhaps your competence. Well, Heather, <laughs> it wouldn't really be an interview if he only asked one question, would it? <laughs> <laughs> my routine is very simple but it often requires me to juggle my commitments during very busy periods. So you need me to be your phone, diary, journal and calendar. Make sure you know about your other ventures whilst you're on set or on stage or otherwise occupied. Make sure you're in the right place at the right time for the required length of time and potentially get you a coffee if it is desired. In a nutshell, yes. Good, good with models? Uh, how are you good with models? I mean, like, photography? A fashion? Or more intimately? No! Models! Like boats, planes, figurines! Oh! Models! Right! Um, well, moving on to your availability, it is full-time and is immediate start. However, it does say that you have some part-time commitments. Um, can you tell me what those are? I understand, fully, but your worries are misplaced. 
my family, my people know how to look after themselves and their friends. Mine will say no more. But know this, Mr. Hardwick, there may come a time very soon when you do require our help. And all we ask for in return is a little trust. You have my number. I do. Yes. I'll give you a call. Well, I've never been a personal assistant before. I'm certain you haven't. Though I am aware of what one is. I'm sure you Therefore, do. Therefore, this represents a great challenge for me. Yeah, but I'm just... And I never balk at a challenge. Particularly if it appears weekly. Hang on. Weekly? So therefore, I accept. Please allow me a few days to prepare and I shall assume the role, play the part. Okay. A fair warning, young Daniel. I have made many more manly men than you weep in the scores at my performances. More manly? Farewell, adieu. When next we meet, I shall not be as I stand before you today. Again? I only wanted a chance to prove myself, or I'd go live the rest of my life as a hermit. A hermit? Mm-hmm. I just have bad luck. I'm not really bad at anything. I just need someone to have a little faith in me. Someone to... Someone to... To give me a moment to shine. Cast aside the clouds that have formed like seeds of doubt in your mind. Let me handle your scheduling conflicts. I'll rearrange your appointments and get you to the show on time. Wow. Mm hmm. Did you? Prepare that in advance, or...? Well, I had a little assistance from friends, but, um, yeah, a different approach. Well, you're the first one to break out in song. Never mind one tailored, written for the moment. The exact moment. This is nice a good football Friday with messages on Sundays. Fridays and Saturdays and help me dead hand his wrist one. Mondays, I've got the dogs. Tuesdays is quiz night, but of course, that's only by weekly. And Wednesdays. Uncle Frey? I see. So, I got the job? I'll give you a call. Give me a Let you know my decision. Seeds of doubt in your mind. Any outcome. I'll get you to the I'll show. just happened. Oh, I'm making it up, oh, I'm bringing it in. Emilio, so you can understand. for notes that I never could sing. Oh, in the world, for everyone's eyes. And with the mere shock, more of the more surprise. When I tell them all, I'm thinking of this. Nuts. Now those kind of nuts. <laughs>